Bonjour, je m'appelle Vincent Piel. Hello, this is Vincent Piel. We are pleased to be here in Cannes to present the new Cap Camara 10.5 WA. This is a brand new boat. It is in fact the prototype and is making its boat show world premiere. This is the largest Cap Camara yet produced by Jeannot. The Cap Camara line has more than 30 years of history. The line is widely recognized in the small or pocket cruiser market. This time, with the largest Cap Camara 10.5 WA to date, Jeannot is aiming at the outboard motor yacht and cruiser markets. The new Cap Camara 10.5 WA combines elegance and sportiness with her aggressive lines, which are the work of Sarazan Design. The hull is designed by Michael Peters, a well-known American yacht designer, a leading expert in stepped hull design. Michael has been working with Geno for many years. And this time, we decided on a stepped hull, as we once did with the Cap Camera 9.25. But this time, the hull forms a double step. This is a patented system Michael Peters calls the Stepped V Ventilated Tunnel, or SVVT. This patented design has already been used by Michael on fast outboard motorboats for the U.S. Coast Guard and the U.S. Army. The purpose of this particular stepped hull is to provide better comfort at high speed. The principle is simple. Air is taken in on the sides of the hull and then guided through channels, up to a large tunnel along the center line, which runs aft, where this air creates a cushion effect, resulting in a decrease in drag and better fuel economy. As you can see, access aboard the Cap Camera 10.5 WA is really made easy by these large optional platforms at the stern. They are flush with the rest of the cockpit. These platforms are very wide, bracket and serve as protection for the outboard motors. Moving from one platform to another is possible and facilitated by the easily accessible handrails. Port side, we have a swimming ladder and there is also a built-in storage bin, which is very handy when moored. Movement between the platforms and the rest of the cockpit is secured by the transom gate while cruising. The cockpit saloon is very large. It is up to 3.5 meters long when in the U-shaped configuration. You can also choose an L-shaped configuration by means of this fold-away bench, which is very comfortable thanks to the cushion backrest. And if the client wishes, it is also possible to equip the port side with a second fold-away bench to again increase seating capacity, which makes for a very friendly atmosphere on board. If one chooses not to equip the boat with the port side folding bench seat, you can also install in its place a large storage locker for fenders and other equipment. The teak table is standard. It is supported by two legs, which, as an option, can be telescoping. This allows the table to be easily lowered. And with the side benches, form a large sun deck. Under this cockpit table is a very large storage hold. so big and deep that Jano has equipped it with an aluminum ladder to facilitate the use of the entire hold. The fuel tanks are located on each side of the hold. Both have a 400 liter capacity. To the aft is a technical hold with access to engine equipment. 
And this large hold will soon also house an optional generator. The generator allows for two things. First of all, the boat can be equipped with electrical equipment such as a glass ceramic cooktop or a grill. The owners can also enjoy the advantages of air conditioning, even while cruising. Facing the cockpit saloon is an outdoor kitchen with an electric grill and a double sink. As an option, this sink can be replaced by a live well, which will delight anglers. Inside the deck kitchen unit, there is an optional 42-liter refrigerator, very handy when one lives at anchor. There are also storage drawers, As you can see here, there are four cup holders located on either side of the kitchen unit. Just forward is the leaning post type pilot's bench, with very comfortable seats and a good level of comfort. There are three seats. The front cushions fold up to form bolster type seating for standing at the helm. As you can see, the helm is placed amidships. This gives good visibility over the bow. It's also between the co-pilots, so one is able to share the helm while cruising. The driver also has fold-away armrests for a good level of comfort. You'll also notice that the co-pilots each have convenient grab rails for safer cruising. Moving around the helm station is possible to port, but also to starboard with a secondary passage that is very useful for maneuvers in port. The helm station is complete with a truly refined design, a good level of finish, black trim, and a large dashboard which can be equipped, as in this case, with a 12-inch touch screen. If desired, there is space for two 12-inch touch screens or a single large central screen. The helm can be equipped with a tilting wheel depending on the engine chosen. Here you have the thruster control. Below the wheel and to the side, there are storage compartments. This one is equipped with a lock. Access to the bow is via the main gangway port side. There is also another side deck located to starboard, which is indispensable when cruising. Access is made secure by a high bow rail, so it's easy to get around the sun pad. The sun deck has two chaises longues. I use the term chaise longue because both sun beds are equipped with adjustable backrests, as you can see here. You also might notice that the sun deck is fully integrated into the design of the boat. This gives the boat a very elegant look, even when the cushions are not installed. Of course, in the center aisle, one can add additional cushions in order to have a very large sunbed across the beam of the boat. You'll note here that the 10.5 WA is equipped with a glass windshield, a large glass windshield. It is also equipped with a windshield wiper, which is very useful when the boat is fitted with a convertible top and cruising in bad weather. Now it's time to visit the boat's interior.
as you can see, the headroom is outstanding. There's a good volume below decks. The interior is bathed in light, thanks to the hull windows. Good ventilation is provided by the portholes in both hull windows. The deck window also provides an additional light source. The forward saloon is a very good size, but it can also be transformed into a separate cabin, thanks to a curtain system that closes the space here and which is stored, well hidden, here in this closet. You'll notice how Jano has paid close attention to storage needs, with closets on both sides, a wardrobe, and also cubbyhole storage spaces behind the backrest on both sides. There are also storage lockers under the seats, so really plenty of space to store equipment on board. The galley is also very comfortable, with a two-burner gas cooktop, a sink, cupboards all around, and more storage to the rear. There is also a large 80-liter refrigerator. And now, aft, we have the second cabin. So there are two double berths on board. both ergonomically well laid out. This cabin is located under the cockpit. Nevertheless, we have enough headroom to sit comfortably and sleep with either head forward or aft as desired. This cabin has a hull window on the starboard side and technical works passing on the other side. To provide ventilation and light, there are two port windows, one on each side, below the leaning post. So, as you can see, the rear cabin also has plenty of storage space. There is storage space under the berths. Also, to the port side, there is a hanging closet. And to starboard, a storage locker. And shelves for a large space to store personal affairs. To conclude the visit of the boat's interior, to starboard there is a very beautiful bathroom, with separate shower, a wash basin, and a large seat-type cover to hide the toilet. A marine toilet is standard, but the toilet can also be electric and use fresh water as options. The boat's interior design was particularly well thought out, with indirect LED lighting in the ceiling here, and LED strips on each side of the saloon. And in the same way, the entire exterior of the boat can be equipped with LED lighting to give it a warm and festive atmosphere on the outside. To conclude, we can say that this new Cap Camera 10.5 WA is both elegant and sporty. Above all, it gives rise to a new way of thinking about cruising that is both fast and comfortable. To learn more, I invite you to get in touch with a Jano dealer or come to see the boat in person at a show.